Welcome to Module 5, Deductions. By the end of this module, you will understand how the tax liability is calculated, understand the way to lower one's taxable income and income taxes, understand the difference between standard and itemized deductions, understand how to determine which deductions should be applied to a client's tax return, understand what items slash expenses are included with the itemized deduction. This module is broken down into three sections, the tax computation, standard deduction, and itemized deductions. Let's cover the tax computation. Tax filers are not taxed on all of their income. Taxes are only paid on taxable income. Total income minus adjustments equals adjusted gross income. Adjusted gross income minus deductions is then calculated into your taxable income. You want to determine the total income, and that is the sum of the following. Wages, interest, dividends, capital gains, business income, pensions, social security, unemployment, etc. For 2019 tax returns, total income can just be found on line 7B, or that's the sum of lines 1, 2B, 3B, 4B. For 2019 returns, the total income can be found on line 7B of the form 1040. That's the sum of lines 1, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6, and 7A. Next, you reduce your total income in order to determine taxable income. There are two income reducing categories, adjustments, which we covered in module four, and deductions, what we're covering now. Note, Non-refundable credits, which are covered in Module 6, can also be used to reduce income tax. Let's talk a little bit more about deductions. Deductions are subtracted from AGI to result in taxable income. This is the value upon which the tax liability is established. There are two types of deductions, standard and itemized. Only one of these can be used on the return. Use the one with the higher value to obtain the lowest taxable income value. So how does this work? Look at the AGI. You choose the highest of either the standard or the itemized deduction, and then that converts into taxable income. Let's talk a little bit more about the standard deduction. The standard deduction is a dollar amount that reduces the amount of taxable income. It varies according to filing status, there is an additional standard deduction for individuals who are blind or over age 65. You cannot take the standard deduction if you itemize deductions. Individuals that qualify as someone's dependent generally cannot take the full standard deduction. Note, not all clients are eligible to take the standard deduction. If a couple is married filing separate and one spouse uses itemized deductions, then the other spouse must also use itemized deductions. See your form 4012 for less common cases. Here are the standard deduction values for 2019 returns. You can look at the chart to look at the filing status and the standard deduction amount per each filing status. There is also an additional standard deduction for those who are over 65 and blind. You can see those filing statuses in the additional standard deduction that they entail. An individual who qualifies as a dependent, the standard deduction is the greater of $1,100 or the sum of $350 and the individual's earned income or the standard deduction amounts as listed on the filing status chart above. Let's talk about itemized deductions. Itemized deductions generally apply to higher income clients who are homeowners. All of these expenses will be listed on Schedule A. Individual expenses include medical and dental expenses, taxes one paid, so that's state and income taxes and property taxes, home mortgage interest and points that one paid, gifts to charity, certain miscellaneous deductions. And if the sum of all of these individual expenses paid by the client result in an amount that is greater than the standard deduction, if so, use the itemized deductions 
and reduce one's taxable income. So what do we include in itemized deductions? For medical expenses, that's an amount that's greater than 10% of the AGI. And this includes all medical and dental expenses paid for the members of the household. That includes doctor and dental bills, prescriptions, hospital bills, insurance premiums, mental health treatments, transportation for medical treatments, and others. You can see Schedule A instructions for more. You also can cover taxes, so state sales or income taxes, whichever is larger, local or foreign in income taxes, local or foreign income taxes, real estate taxes, or personal property taxes. Beginning with tax year 2018, the total deduction for real estate tax, personal property taxes, and state income taxes or sales tax is limited to $10,000. You can also include home mortgage interest, cash or non-cash donations to a qualified organization, miscellaneous deductions, so that's gambling losses up to the amount of winnings, and beginning with tax year 2018, most miscellaneous deductions, including union dues and investment expenses, have been eliminated. See your publication 4012 for the complete list. If you want to look at how to start the itemized deduction discussion with the client, look on your form 13614-C, part 4. So to recap, taxable income is not total income. In order to calculate taxable income, you take the total income minus their adjustments to create the adjusted gross income. From there, you take the AGI, subtracted by deductions, and that gives you the taxable income. There are two types of deductions, standard and itemized, but only one can be applied to the return. If you want to figure out how to choose, simply use the one with the higher value to obtain the lowest taxable income value. If the sum of the individual expenses paid by the client results in an amount that is greater than the standard deduction amount, itemizing deductions and using the sum of the individual expenses will reduce the taxable income burden. And now we'll end with the knowledge check. There are additional resources, including our practice return. And up next, module six, non-refundable credits.